you're looking to house hack, but you don't exactly know where to start, well, this is the video for you. This is going to be a walkthrough of a house hack multifamily property in Northern New Jersey. So stay tuned. You're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end of this one because we're gonna be having some awesome surprises, including the bonus attic space and how we're gonna renovate this thing to make sure it is an effective producing cash cow. My name is Sean McIntyre. I am the house hacking realtor of Northern New Jersey and a team leader of the Living in North Jersey team. My wife and I have been house hacking for over a decade now, and we are here to help share our secrets and reduce the failure rate of new investors hopping into today's market. So if you're interested in house hacking and learn a little bit more about real estate happening in Northern New Jersey, this is the channel for you. Click subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss a beat of what's happening in the Garden State. So we are here in Garwood, New Jersey, which is right off the parkway. Amazing, convenient town, has direct transit to NYC, it has a train line, it's got the parkway, it's got a little bit of everything, amazing downtown, and it has awesome duplexes like the one we are in right now. My goal in today's video is to walk through this property and show you what I'm looking for to make this an effective house hack. So crucial when looking for house hacks is checking out the basement. Uh, always love starting from the basement and working my way up when viewing a property because it's going to indicate a lot of what is happening with the rest of the home. Um, a few things you want to look for is things like you know where the load-bearing walls are, knowing that it spans from the front to the back of the house. Uh, this is a good indication that the walls in this property are likely going to be load-bearing on the center, being that the joists run from the width of the house landing on this here and going to the far stand. So I always like to go into the basements to see what is going on in the rest of the home in case there's reconfiguring and anything like that going on. Another reason we love the basements is the heating systems. Uh, we have two oil furnaces here that heat the uh, both units. Now, look, if you're wondering a little bit about the importance of heating systems, why don't you check out my video of purchasing a multifamily with one heating system? Because it makes a huge difference, especially long term when running the numbers. So I'm gonna put that in the description below. But going through the basement, you're gonna be able to see all this stuff. And uh, I love that there are two heating systems because now that means each tenant pays for individual heat and you don't have to worry about it as the landlord. Washer and dryer, um, they have the hookups there, which is wonderful. Um, you know, it's good that they're here. More than likely in this configuration, we'll leave it so the first floor tenant will have access to the basement washer and dryer, and then hopefully be able to put the washer and dryer in that upper unit. So uh, that way there is no reason for uh, people to share the laundry. Uh, a couple other things we want to look out for here is the electrical boxes. You want to see how much space there is, the amperage of the box, because if you're going to do a major renovation, you want to make sure you have enough electrical power to, uh, you know, add more outlets, add more appliances, whatever it is that you're doing, and the electrical boxes indicate how much space is available. So basements are super crucial when going for going walking through a house. Uh, for a potential house hack because it's going to be able to give you a lot of indications on what you can and can't do, uh, what's smart, what's going to cost a lot more money or maybe not even be possible at all. Um, and then lastly, you want to see if there's a possibility of turning this into livable space. In this instance, not so much, which uh, that's kind of normal. Uh, a couple indicators here is the ceiling heights. You know, I can touch the ceiling, you know, where kind of close there. You want to make sure you're over seven feet tall. Um, but really the big indicator is the window sizes. Windows are very small. Um, you know, most of this basin is being utilized. So I really wouldn't look to add value here in the basement by making this into livable space. At the end of the day, Northern New Jersey is not cheap to get into, but there are ways to make it work. We have high taxes. We also have high rents. How do you get to those high rents? Typically, you want to find a property that needs a little bit of work, that has some distress to it, that you can add the value to. What's going to happen when you add value to a property? You're going to give yourself equity, which is awesome, essentially paying yourself 
the equity, and you're going to raise the rents, which means you're going to have tenants that are going to pay the bulk of the mortgage, which is the ultimate goal for a house hacker. So here we are in uh, this upper level of the duplex. Uh, we're not going to be able to show the first floor today just because there is a tenant there. But as I promised, we're going to be going to that bonus attic space a little bit on later on. So definitely stick around to see that because that's where the magic happens. We are here in what looks like the dining room area that leads into a living room behind me and kitchen over here and then another bedroom and two bedrooms. So right now this is a 3-1 and I'm going to be able to show you how we're going to turn this into possibly a 4-2 or 5-2 which is really awesome. First things first, the big value add points in a house hack is going to be the kitchen. Um, it's, it's no different than really I mean, even your single families. You want to look for distressed kitchens, older kitchens. Now look, this is in great shape when it was put in but uh, it's due for an upgrade. You know, the metal cabinets and everything like that. So what I like to look for is more space to put in. So we're gonna have some nice larger cabinets. We're gonna do the recessed lighting, brighten things up, and uh, maybe do some reconfiguring where we could possibly open up the wall and move the refrigerator over here behind us so you have that nice open concept. But when you're coming into a house hack, always check the kitchens first because that is a huge value add opportunity. Tenants uh, want to have a nice functioning kitchen. It is one of the main points of the home. So, uh, you know, having that updated, doing the quartz countertops, the uh, new cabinets really goes a long ways for attracting high quality tenants. Second place we're going to be going to are the bathrooms. Now this one is actually in really good shape. It did a nice job. It's well maintained. So not much going on here. Maybe you need to change the vanities, maybe the toilet, stuff like that. But there's, it's in pretty good shape. So not much going on here, but uh, don't worry. There's gonna be room to add another bathroom and I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. Going through the bedroom here. Good size, it's great. Hardwood floors are in pretty good shape. I love hardwood floors because they are timeless. So here is the third bedroom. And you're probably thinking, okay, third bedroom, nice. This is a 3-1. Well, this would no longer be a bedroom because what I would do here is make this more living space. And what do you see here? This is the attic. So we're gonna go check that out in a little bit and uh, show you a little bit more of what you can do to make this a cash cow. Hey, if house hacking is your jam, why don't you put that in the comment below and say, let's go, I'm ready to house hack. I wanna make sure you're protected on that first house hack. So you should definitely take a look at my video on three things to avoid for all house hackers. I'm gonna share that in the description below. All right, the moment that you've been waiting for is this magical attic. And I kid you not, this is where you can see some of the greatest return on investments for looking to house hack in a multifamily in Northern New Jersey. Uh, we love finding attic space that can be developed into livable space. Uh, first thing you always want to watch out for is ceiling height, and I kid you not, we've got that. that I mean, look, I'm not even close, and it's tough to see on camera, but you're, you're talking about 10 foot plus ceilings here. Uh, Space-wise, you've got plenty of space. Oh my goodness, look at this. Absolutely huge. I mean, you're sneaking two, maybe three bedrooms up here easily, a full bathroom, laundry units, and that's exactly what you want to do, especially if you want to appeal to a luxury style tenant. You want to make sure that the laundry is in the unit. So you're easily going to be able to put that in here rather than keeping it in the basement. So what's good about that is tenants don't have to interact with one another. They get to stay inside their unit, do their laundry as they please, and don't have to worry about people going through their stuff or anything like that. It's all in their unit. So that's a major, major plus to having another full bathroom. Now it becomes functioning where if you only had, let's say four bedrooms and one bath, it's kind of functioning obsolete because that's really difficult to have four people using one bathroom. So having the second bathroom uh, with the additional bedrooms, is very, very desirable. It's what you're looking for uh, to get the top rents. That's absolutely huge. Uh, so, Couple more things here we want to look for. Um, I love that the bathroom is right here, so that's very easy. 
because uh, that's the vent pipe you'll see. So now you just put it above the other bathroom. You don't have to re do crazy replumbing. You simply just raise the lines. Uh, bring electric up is easy. Uh, really now you gotta insulate everything, frame this out. But what's super crucial about doing this is you 100% want to have architect plans because it's a multifamily. It's, you know, you want to do architect plans regardless, regardless of the multifamily, single family. But you want to make sure it's safe and protected. You want to have an engineer involved, all that kind of stuff. Uh, get the approval from the town. Don't try to make this a project that you do uh, below the radar uh, because at the end of the day, you know, you're gonna have tenants here. You want to make sure everyone's safe. You want to make sure you're protected. Uh, and it's gonna be well worth it having an architect that map everything out for you so you don't have to do things twice or multiple times. But um, yeah, this is what we look for. I, oh my goodness, love it. So, super excited for my client here that uh, is gonna be purchasing this property. One last thing that is very crucial that this property has, and that is when you walk up the steps, you know, there's a lot of times you'll see amazing high ceiling, but uh, you know, you might whack your head on the ceiling when you walk up. That's not gonna be a problem here. If it was an issue and it was a concern, you could simply put a little dormer in, which is just knocking out the roof if you had to, but that, that still is an expense that adds to the bill. Uh, this, as we see it right now, is a matter of finishing the utilized space. You're not reconstructing you know, a, a roof line or anything like that, which is great. Whether you're looking to move in the next six days or 60 days, I'm getting phone calls, texts, emails every single day from people just like you, house hackers, forever home buyers, anyone that wants to stay up to date with what's happening in Northern New Jersey. So make sure to reach out and uh, we can set up that call and have a conversation to make this move smooth for you. So that's a wrap on our house hacking tour of uh, this beautiful duplex. Uh, for more information and more videos like this, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on what is happening here in the Garden State, especially if you're a house hacker or if you're looking to buy that forever home.